Hello, this is Deckard Kane from Tristram in Diablo 3. Stay a while and listen. No, not actually. This is still Crimble from Blood Legacy once again for another Old War video. I changed the introduction because my guild mates kept saying hello, this is Crimble for every single word I said on Vent. So I just changed it a bit. Well, this is Thorim's fight and it's not an easy one. The fight starts with the raid fighting a group of dwarves that are facing a Jormungar. You have to kill them all, but keep the Jormungar faced away from the raid. They can all be AoE just like we did. After clear clearing the room, a lever on the left will become available, allowing the members to enter a side passage. It's the one we are entering now. It's a gauntlet light corridor, uh, and that's what you have to, you're seeing in the video. You need as much DPS as you can spare, but remember to keep some people in the, uh, in the main room because they will also face ads in there. Uh, basically, uh, you just have to pass through this corridor to reach Thorim, uh, and if you don't do this in 5 minutes, a huge lightning orb will come laying waste on its path. So you're all dying if, that, uh, if you don't reach the end of the gauntlet in uh, 5 minutes. So since the, moment you, since the very moment you start the fight, you have 5 minutes to reach Thorim. Uh, we use a two tanks, two healers, and seven casters DPS. We use the Monkin Druid, two mages, an elemental shaman, and two shadow priests. For healers, we use the paladin and a priest. And for tanking, it was me playing a druid and a death knight. Essentially, you will proceed killing all the adds, focusing your damage on the acolytes, interrupting their heals, and then focus damage on the guards. Uh, when tanking the guards you must be careful, because they cast an impale spell which immobilizes you. Uh, I shapeshifted to escape this ensnare in the beginning of the gauntlet. Uh, that's what happened in the very first group, I wasn't simply stupid like switching out of bear form, uh, it was because I was immobilized. Uh, and also you must watch the colossus we are facing now in the end of the room, because he casts a mega blasting skill. Uh, you gotta avoid this during this first stage. Uh, it probably will not one shot you but it does a lot of damage so there is no reason you can just walk a little bit and avoid this damage speed will be the key here because during the fight uh, when you're actually facing Torim, uh, the whole raid will be taking massive damage so the faster you do the gauntlet the more mana your healers will probably have and uh, one last thing uh, at the end of the gauntlet uh, the ancient rune guardian at the top of the stairs that you will see in a moment uh, casts a spell that immobilizes you the icon is something like the combustion spell for mages that trinket like thing and uh, you will be immobilized and after three seconds you will explode so uh, if you're using a raid add-on it's probably going to put a skull over your head uh, considering you cannot move uh, the ho the other raid members will have to move away from you. It will happen to me soon, and I dealt some serious damage to the raid members, something about 10k to everyone. And uh, lastly, you see that happen soon. When you are actually behind Thorium, uh, there are circles in the room that if you step on them, uh, your group will be stunned, so you we just walk through the sides. In this part of the gauntlet, as you can see, we are at the very beginning of the stairs. I am just trying to keep the adds away from the healers, and uh, we had two mages, so a polymorph is really useful in here to avoid taking unnecessary damage. <clears throat> uh, if you don't reach five minutes, uh, as I said before, Thorium will cast a huge lightning ball that will wipe you all. So you gotta be really fast in here because the adds will not stop coming. Uh, focus your damage on the healers, the acolytes, and uh, do not forget to cancel their healings. You'll see that I'll take that right now. I took the spell that immobilizes you. There's a school over my head, and you see I dealt 70,000 damage to everyone in the raid. I just cast that tranquility that didn't help much because everyone was in a different group. Anyway, you gotta kill this last ad and you will be behind Thorim. He's got a shit load of health. He knocks back sometimes. But he's not a, a hard guy to kill. 
as you can see Thorium is there uh, don't step in those two circles on the floor uh, I stopped a little bit because someone asked me for an innervate so I hesitated a bit to walk well right after you attack or do any of cast any offensive actions at Thorium he will jump down and the main thing we have to pick him up as soon as possible uh, during the gauntlet that the people are facing down there uh, Thorium gains a buff that reduces the damage taken by 99% so it's pretty much useless to try dealing damage to him we use the two tanks down here and two tanks do, do, doing the gauntlet Oh, now you just finish off all the ads, they will stop coming. And now you're facing Thorium himself. The fight from now on is kind of boring. Uh, there's just some things that I'll say. Uh, well, uh, during the gauntlet, uh, there's a group going in the gauntlet and a group stays in, the, in this first room. Uh, they should stack up in the middle of the room because this will make AoE heals uh, more effective and also AoE damage but remember to focus the damage on the large rune Vrykul the big tall human eyes that appear in the room and they cast a spell storm hammer it does some AoE damage so it's better to spread when he casts this spell uh, we had uh, so many deaths in this first attempt because we actually didn't know the whole fight it was our third attempt and actually the first one we completed the gauntlet and he died kinda easy after you if you manage to do the gauntlet the fight of him is not that hard so uh, when you see the lightning balls coming from a column and the sides move away as soon as possible because it's it means he's about to cast a lightning charge well basically you see something like uh, as you can see in the left of the video now it means that in a second he'll cast a huge lightning charge uh, so spread out to avoid this damage and also try to escape it if you can it hits something like a 60 degree angle and uh, it increases his nature damage dealt so probably if you get hit by that many times uh, probably the third time you get hit by that you will be one shot and uh, he also casts a chain lightning that does more damage the more target it hits so you must spread anyway and lastly uh, the tanks must stay alert because he casts a spell named the balancing strike it will reduce your defense by 200 making you critical strike vulnerable so the off tank must taunt him back immediately as you can see I've mouse over the debuffs so just so you, you could know what they mean the fight itself does not involve so many events but Thorium hits like a truck on this side uh, on this stage uh, the more people hit by this lightning charge the more damage he will do so in the very end of the video you see that he kills two tanks in a row by almost one shotting them he was hitting like a truck and hitting really fast so we had two tanks down really fast and then he was almost dead we just finished him off and we had no big problems with that other than this, it's uh, well. If you manage to do the gauntlet once again, avoid the lightning charges, spread out, not to be hit by the chain lightning, and you'll be fine. Uh, if you have tanks, too many tanks in the fight, we actually use it for in here. Uh, ask them not to DPS the boss because the chain lightning will kill them, and that's what killed me, for example. Congratulations and thanks for watching.